Beba, 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 when you leave beba. When you beba, come in, beja. She's a hardened criminal. Unfortunately, they are never written on the face. Kufika kitu saa moja, ananipigia simu. Nimechukua yu kitu. Nikamulisa kitu gani? Nimechukua kitu yenye likuwa na kwambia, na hii kitu ni pesi. Maybe she has a team of people. She works with, she just comes into people's houses, does a survey, then they steal. They have gone as far as even killing our children. We have received cases whereby a house help kills a child plus the mother. Kuchokua ni lejokua siyasi katasi kuchokua yu kitu. Inside there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Inside there. They have more often than not made decent, if not perfect, domestic managers stepping in for their employers during their time of need. The roles they play in our household with no doubt are unmatched. However, cases of house helps committing crimes have been on a steady rise in the recent past. When they are not in court battling cases of assaulting their employers' children, or in relationships with one of the spouses who have employed them, they are stealing from their employers, the very employers who have entrusted them with their lives and families. When John's family sought for a house help from Mamhead House Help Bureau in Harlingham, they had no idea that it would take them a paltry nine days to realize that they were in for a rude shock. On this material day, I came home around 7.30, 7.20. Um, on coming in, I saw my children running behind me. So I wonder today they are eating from outside, which is very unusual. So as I opened the vehicle, um, the children are telling me, Auntie has gone, Auntie has gone. The, the, the um, night guard was also mentioning that the children have told her that the, 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 the auntie has left. So the first thing was to settle the children inside the house. So I took them inside and um, they continued having their dinner. And as I walked in, I realized a bunch of keys in the kitchen. So I took the keys and say and started looking around just to see everything whether it was intact. And of course, the first place I stopped was my bedroom. Um, when I walked in, I realized the safe was missing. So I called my husband and notified him that um, there is a challenge. The safe is missing. Mtoto ya Bishop Mdogo na hii watoto ya Mama Mary wawili wamekuja na kambia Soja, Antigo. Hata mimi sikuzi kujua ni anti ni na ni nani. Nikwambia which anti? Alafu hiyo mtoto anakuambia mtoto ya ma, ya bishop hiyo mdogo. Now I want to stay with those of my colleague. Now why? Their maid was she's going. The first place we went was to report to the police and uh, see whether we could be able to get the quickest help that was going uh, possible so that we could recover some of the precious things we had lost. What followed was four days of sleepless nights for this family, trying to locate the very girl who had worked in their house for only nine days. She was nowhere to be found. It's been uh, quite an experience and spending most of those hours at the police station. We also did uh, list the services of a private investigator who we have known for quite some time to try and help us uh, so that we could recover because what we had lost among of, uh, among us then were very important documents that we needed to recover because we knew they were not very useful to the thief. Back in Nairobi, Mary makes a trip to the bureau where she got her house help from and lodges a complaint. And to her surprise, she discovers something strange about Yuni's identity card. The ID had been used twice to post two different, so the lady I had and someone else. Apparently, this other person was a cousin. We're not sure whether it's a sister or a cousin, but she says she's a cousin. And um, at that point, she's the one who led the police uh, together with the PI to where um, Yuni stays in Kibera. Well, so far, so much has happened and we are outside the very bureau that actually gave Mary's family this house help called Eunice and we really want to find out from them their side of the story. Let's go. It was 
was not easy to get a comment from the management there. But they did talk anyway. For this girl, Eunice Chin, she came as a normal person. She was looking for a job. She came, she told us that she wanted a job. She has kids she wants to feed. So we asked her who, to, who, who showed her the bureau. She told us that she was told by a friend who is working. Somewhere we took a friend. So from there, I told her what she's supposed to bring. She's supposed to bring a photocopy of her ID, two passport photos, and the form she was supposed to fill. Unfortunately, she told us she didn't have money for the photo. So we just registered up and we told her, in case a client comes to pick you, the client is going to take a photo of you. Maybe using the phone, or maybe you can take you somewhere you take a photo. That's how we recruited her in the bureau. Where did the confusion come from? Because I believe you need to do due diligence from your end. Okay, there the confusion came because that time when they were registering the other girl, I was not around. There's somebody who was helping me at that time. So maybe that's where the confusion came because the other girl didn't check on the, the ID, the photocopy of the ID. This is the first yeah. case even I'm facing. And I'm the one who is dealing with it, and I was even surprised because I've never, I've never sold somebody who has gone to destroy or steal from anyone. Eunice then, after concerted efforts to have her talk, decides to reveal how it all went down. Kukenda <laughs> Kwa <laughs> wakati umechukua hiki kitu wewe ulijuaje ni pesa kwanza tukiwa na mtu wa pikipiki pikipiki mimi simjui na yeye ye labda kama namjua kamuuliza wewe oh, utabeba kitu yenye ujui ni nini mimi unajua angenipatia morale singechukua hiyo kitu sasa vile yeye ndiye alisema chukua hiyo kitu ndio nikachukua juu hiyo kitu kama hiyo sijawahi chukua Swale and Eunice have been in a relationship since 2015. A claim Swale vehemently denies. We have been in a relationship since 2015. A claim Swale vehemently denies. We have been in a relationship since 2015. Eunice too insists that it's Swale that directed her where they could meet and that she handed the safe to him and after which she has not heard even a single word from him about the contents of the safe. Sasa mali wao alienda kufunja hii kitu si kwa najua ndio sahii anasema alifunja langata si kwa najua mali alifunja hiyo kitu. Ni mimi nilikuwa nimeteremka nikaenda kwa nyumba amesema tutaonekana ke kesho. Kesho nikimpigia simu aliniambia wewe tulia tutaongea. Mtu wakaoganaza na mtu wa bodaboda. Kawa yende kufanya yoje kukatwa. 
basi kawa twende tukate ikate kuikata tulikuwa na yeye na wengine na huyo e, ni kukata na bodaboda na jamaa mwingine na ilikatiwa wapi ilikatiwa langata langata wapi e, langata kwa soko hapo aha huyo jamaa kukata unamjua bado kwa kata na mbio na ito nani jina ndio wasi mjini lakini wanamuitanga tu kikoi kikoi na sasa ikata na ikata sangapi masa moja hivi nikielekana na nusu saa moja ina kitu hivi jioni mhm sasa kisha kata sasa siliko watu wanatakiwa wanatarajia ni pesa kawa pesa iko ndani pesa ilikuwa ndani ilikuwa 30000 ikatolewa 30000 mwenyewe akashika akachukua eh, eh, 4000 na kupata mtu wa pikipiki. Kupatia jamaa mwingine 5000. Huyo jamaa mwingine nani? Anaitwa Joseph. Mhm. Mm Alipatia 5000. Pesa nyingi baki ya kanya na yeye. Mhm. Mm Ndio sasa tukatoka hapo kuipeleka kwa maji hapo chini. Mhm. Mm na nani mwenye kuibeba hadi pale kwenye maji? Mwenyewe kwani tulikuja na pikipiki na yeye lakini kuibeba paka kwa maji ni mwenye. Ajanieleza kama alitoa pesa ama alipata nini. Hapo mm. sikukua. It is not clear who is speaking the truth as the two love birds now turned false give completely contradicting accounts of this fateful day. Wakikata hiyo box ulikuwa sikukua hapo. Unajua vile tulifika tulitoka hapa na mtu wa motorbike. Huyu alikuja na mguu ya kwanza. Akikuja na mguu, amesema teremkeni chini. Kuna gari ya redi inafanya nini? Inakuja. Hakuja na gari yake. Sasa vile tuliteremka, tuliteremka, mali anasema langata. Ndio, gari alifanya nini? Alikuja kabla tufike langata. Unaona hapo Raila bypass. Hapo ndiye alikuja. Akaniuliza uko wapi? Tumesema tumesimama hapo. Hiyo kitu vile nilichukua nikaweka kwa boot. Hao akaenda nayo. Huyu na ule mtu alikuwa kwa gari mimi simjui huyo mtu. Mimi sikwenda na hao juu. Unajua mi, vile alisema niende aende na hiyo kitu, aende angalia ni nini iko hapo nda ndani. Na ilikuwa usiku. Na mimi nikiteremka nikirudi wapi nyumbani. Sasa huyu kutoka kutoka kibra flyover. Eh flyover nilikuwa na teremu. Ulikuja paka hapo. Wewe nileta kitu hapo. Unaona hata akipigia mtu wa pikipiki anakuelezea hiyo kitu unaona flyover flyover ile Unaona flyover ilikuwa Unaona fly Wacha niendelee swali nataka kuelewa baada wamekata walikwambia wametoa nini ndani Aliniambia hajatoa kitu alipata tu chains earrings na pesa Pesa hako niambia pesa alitoa Eh hako niambia hata jana ndiye alinionyesha mali alikuwa ametupa hiyo kitu vile mapolisi alisema twende huko. Ku mtu aseme tu kweli. Unajua kweli wa Mungu afadhali aseme kweli yake. Unajua ndio nilibeba nikitoka nayo state house. Lakini kufika flyover yeye ndiye akabeba hiyo kitu alikuwa na gari ya red. It has been a pretty tough day for us. The investigations are ongoing and we are now headed to the Langata River where we are told this safe box was thrown and we really hope that we are going to retrieve it. Karibu 90% of the things. Yeah, kupita hapa. 
Other than the cash which we will need to sit and reconcile because it's from sh sh shop sales, uh, the other valuables were more presents uh, that we have I've either bought for Mary or she's bought for me over, over the years. Uh, we've had jewelry, we've lost uh, very interesting cameras, we have lost uh, ornaments, gifts that were very personal and very unique that we bought um, most of them out of the country. They certainly land into hundreds of thousands uh, for sure. A good number of household bureaus that have sprung up in almost every estate have turned out to be conduits for thugs and kidnappers. The workers that we employ in our homesteads or houses, they have done a lot of damages to our families. <clears throat> Not only theft, they have gone as far as even killing our children. We have received cases whereby a house help kills a child plus the mother. We have had a situation whereby house helps kills even the husband of, of the house. So what maybe I would advise as a Kenyan is that, uh, as a Kenyan, is that uh, when you are going for a, a house help, either from a bureau or from any other source, I think it is important that we do what we call a background check of this person whom you want to employ. Could it be that your house help is a major threat to your own safety? Irrespective of how busy our schedules are, it's critical to watch over your home. Also private security is important. I believe the issue of spy cameras are probably now no longer, uh, no longer a luxury that uh, we need to have in our homes. And spy cameras are especially fitted with motion detectors. Because like if we had motion detectors when she opened the door to the bedroom, we would have been alerted from wherever we were and would have known what's going on. Survey shows that more than a quarter of all house burglaries are organized by house helps and hence the need to rethink on how you hire one. The bureaus, the bureaus should have the capacity to verify these people so much so that they should remain uh, accountable. In case of this uh, an employee doing anything, they can be sued as well. Because it will be believed that they knew this person whom they are now giving to you. So they should be uh, having the capacity to verify and getting to know whether they are vetted or not. I would urge um, we parents, because I'm one of them, uh, be vigilant. Um, if you're two parents in a home, it is good for both of you to work hand in hand. Just to observe and see this new person we have brought in, what kind of a person is she? And there are so many ways of observing and seeing whether this person is, is good to your children and whether they are actually being real or it's another facade they are putting on. Um, we as uh, parents should also do a background check by ourselves. Let us not rely on the bureau because clearly sometimes they put money before. As that now, thanks to police, Eunice and her boyfriend, Swale, are now guests of the state and are held at Kileleshua Police Station as investigations continue. What's wrong? I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to say that. It is not about my forgiveness. In fact, the people she do actually need to change for is for is her children, not me. Yes. You see, once it's a criminal offence, it's not a crime basically against me or against my family. It's also a crime against the state. So we will forgive her because we are believers. We believe that forgiveness is important to be able 
to progress and move on and be able to heal for our own good we will forgive her and move on but then she will have to deal with the state for her actions and uh, because this cannot have been the first time the repercussions of not doing a clear and thorough background search on any house help that you let set foot in your house may clearly prove to be disastrous. Reporting for Tuko News, my name is Kevin Phillips Momanye.